More MLB news today. Now, it's not the Trevor Bauer, George Springer, JT Real Muto, any of those players, but it's still some big MLB news. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Red Sox. They signed Hunter Renfro to a pretty cheap contract. So, yeah, let's go. We're going to go ahead and talk about in this video. So, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the greatest and latest MLB news content and other content. So, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like on this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Red Sox, they signed Hunter Renfro. Now, I'm going to talk about what it means for the Red Sox. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Before we get into this video, though, about 68% of you that watch this video are not subscribed. So get your life together and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a like on this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Red Sox have signed Hunter Renfro. For $3.1 million. Absolute dirt cheap contract. And for Boston. He's not going to be your DH, obviously. He's going to play left field, right field, whichever. This does kind of take them out of the Eddie Rosario sweepstakes. In my opinion, I think it does take them out of the Eddie Rosario sweepstakes. But another power bat for the Red Sox is what they need. They need another power bat. And now they can have Ben Attendee at left field. Jack or Jackie Bradley, George Springer, whoever they sign to be, or you can just have Alex Verdugo as your center fielder. And this could take them out of the George Springer, Jack, Jackie Bradley sweepstakes as well. But Hunter Renfro is a very, very good player, and Hunter Renfro is going to hit a lot of home runs. Um, obviously, it's going to be harder with the Green Monster there, but he's still going to hit a lot of home runs. Hunter Renfro is going to hit a lot of home runs. He's probably going to play right field. And you're going to be looking at an outfield of Ben Attendee, Verdugo, and Renfro, which is a pretty good outfield. Then you've got J.D. Martinez as your DH. You've still got Bobby Dahlback, um, Alexander Bogards, Robbie Hill Devers, so on and so forth. This is a big move for the Red Sox, and you're not paying him a lot at all. He That's an absolute dirt cheap contract for Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro is a player that's going to hit home runs and play at okay right field. Now, he does kind of strike out a lot, but Hunter Renfro, when he's hitting the ball well, he is a pretty good player, and for this contract, it's not a risk at all. Um, it's just simply not a risk at all, and it's a great signing by the Red Sox. It shows that they're, they're really trying to compete in 2021 because, obviously, in 2020, they were absolute crap. They were terrible, but they are... They're looking like they're going to make some big moves to try to actually get better in 2021 because in 2020, they just were not good. Now, this does make the Red Sox a lot better, even though they probably are going to lose Jackie Bradley Jr. This is a good move, and I like the move. I think it's a very good move. Another power bat, which I think the Red Sox kind of could use in that outfield, considering Ben Attendee was absolute trash in 2020, even though I think he does still have some potential to be a very good baseball player. I just really like this signing. I think it's an underrated signing that could make a big difference for the Red Sox in th this offseason. I really do think it can make a big difference. I really, really like this move. I think it's a very good move by the Red Sox. They, they're they really trying to push forward, compete in 2021, and that's what they need to be doing. Like, there's no reason to just not compete, and because they have a lot of win-now players, like Chris Sell. He's probably a win-now player if you really are, yeah, I mean, Xander Bogarts. There's, they got a lot of win-now players on their team. And this is a move that is another win-now move for them, and I really like it. Um, I think it's only like a one-year contract. Yeah, it's a one-year contract, so there's no risk there. Like, if he's terrible for that one season, then no problem because he's gone. Like, you just don't re-sign him. That's what you do. You don't re-sign him. And it's very good. Like, you're taking no risk here if he is terrible. And... If, I don't think he's going to be terrible. I think he's going to hit a lot of home runs, play a decent right field for what they need, and he's going to be a pretty good outfielder. Um, simple enough. Like, he's going to be a pretty good outfielder. I mean, Hunter Renfro, very good player. Now, I, like I said, he hits a lot of home runs. Let's go and look at his stats from, previ from previous season. In 2020, his average was very low, and that's that's a problem. There's no and if or buts about it. That's a, that's a problem. 
He tends to have a low batting average. Like for his career, he has a 228 batting average. That's not a good batting average. I'm not gonna lie. That's not a good batting average. Not a good batting average. Um, 156 in 2020. That's terrible. But he still did hit eight home runs, 22 RBIs. So he it's he was drafted in the 13th overall pick for the Padres in 2013. Uh, he hit 26 home runs in 2017, 2018, 26 home runs, 33 home runs in 2019. Big power bat. That's really what you're getting with Hunter Renfro. That's really what you're getting with Hunter Renfro. He's he's a good player, but he strikes out a lot. He doesn't hit for a high average, which is a problem for people. But I think the as good as he, as many home runs as he hits, like it's worth a $3.1 million contract. That's absolutely dirt cheap for what you're going to be getting. And I, I just now think, I think that definitely they're, the Red Sox um, are ruled out of the Jackie Bradley and Eddie Rosario um, sweepstakes. But that's okay. Hunter Renfro is going to be pretty good. I don't absolutely love the move, but it's not taking much of a risk. So, I like it. It's not taking much of a risk, and it's a pretty good move. He's going to be hitting a lot of home runs. He's just a power bat, basically. That's going to be pretty good hitting home runs. That's kind of what Hunter Renfro's reputation is as an MLB player right now. And... I mean, that's that's just kind of what his reputation is. He was traded to the Rays, and then the Rays, um, the Rays, I don't think they non-tendered him. They just kind of DFA'd him, pretty much said, you're gone. I think he was getting paid like 8 or $9 million, so that might be why the Rays cut him, just to cut some more salary. Hunter Renfro, not a bad player, not a bad pickup by the um, Red Sox. If I've given this in... A grade, I'm probably giving it a grade of a B, um, because Hunter Renfro is not an All Star, but he's pretty good. And for this cheap of a contract, there's kind of no risk there. So overall, I like this move. Um, good move by the Red Sox. So yeah, it's getting a grade of a B. You're gonna have a pretty good outfield now if Ben Attendee is as good as he was in 2019. You're gonna have Ben Attendee, Renfro, Verdugo. I, th I think this team can come close to a playoff team. Now, I think they still do need more relief pitching and more starting pitching because they really have no relief pitching. Like, Matt Barnes, that's your best reliever. That's all you got? Like, that's bad. Uh, Chris Sale, Eduardo Rodriguez, their bullpen's going to be a little bit better in 2021. But I don't think Chris Sale's going to come back to be as nearly good as he was. Um, so they still have some things to do after this move but it's a very good move i give it a grade of a b that's going to be the end of this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications you'll get an video. check out my basketball channel um 68 percent of you that watch these videos are not subscribed get your life together hit that subscribe button turn on notifications leave a like on this video thank you for watching and i'll be back with more videos